morning, Monica. Claire, uh, hey, how are you? Oh my gosh, it's been so long. I know, I was wondering if you still even worked here. Ugh, they have me on such a weird schedule now. I never get to see the patients I actually like. <laughs> I swear, if I have to sign in one more entitled pretty boy who's tired of being misunderstood and objectified, I'm going to lose it. <laughs> I mean, bless their hearts, but the male species is so oblivious. <laughs> oh, well, not all of them. Mm. <laughs> okay, well, maybe all of them a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> so what else is new with you? You done with your master's program yet? I might need to put that on hold for a bit. <gasps> oh my god, Monica! I know! How far along are you? Five months. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. I'm so happy for you two. It took Jessica and I a while to find the right donor, but when we finally did, Aww. well... <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. Congratulations. Thank you. Oh, and congratulations to you, too. Today marks your first year in therapy with Dr. Reese. It's been a year already? Congratulations, Miss Armentano. You're officially crazy. Uh, <laughs> gee, thanks. Well, if one year in therapy makes you insane, then I must be batshit crazy. Uh, Iris. Hey, pen pal. Still holding on to her for me? <laughs> yep. Uh, hasn't left my sight. Mom, you're pregnant? Yep, five months. Incredible. Where'd you get your swimmers? <laughs> <laughs> a friend of my wife's. We prefer to keep his name private, but he's actually from your neck of the woods, Claire. He's from Southampton? Seriously? Oh, who is it? You have to tell me now. That's such a tease. <laughs> I know. Sorry, Jessica's rules. These lips are sealed. Congratulations. I'm sure you'll bring one more healthy and happy child into this world. Take care of it. <sighs> I plan to. Ugh, back to it. You two take a seat and Dr. Reese and Dr. Taylor will be with you shortly. Let's catch up later, okay? Yes, please. Hello, thank you for calling Fairchild Serenity. This is Monica. Dr. Taylor? Yeah, I think I scared little Leopold after my third sesh. I had to set him free. Oh no. Eh, whatever, it was time to move on. How have you been though? I haven't seen you in a while. I know, yeah. Um, I'm doing well, just recovering. My best friend Talia and I just came back from Vegas. Oh, how was that? I Insane, <laughs> as expected. I love that girl, but oh my gosh, she uh, she knows how to party. <laughs> oh, you say that like it's a bad thing. I know you benefit from letting the hair down every once in a while. <laughs> yeah, it was fun. But my idea of vacation is a little less active. I think we're going to try to hit up Hawaii next year. One of our friends from high school is out there and said we could stay with her. From Southampton High? Yep. <laughs> I'm already looking forward to that trip. Oh, my ties and... The beach are definitely more my speed. <laughs> I am with you on that. You know, I was actually in Southampton last weekend. Oh, really? Ugh, if I were in town, I would have loved to have seen you. Yeah, me too. It was my cousin's basketball final, so I went to go support her. I decided I needed a break from this place anyways, so I made a weekend out of it. Oh, it's a great little escape town. Uh, where do your cousins live? They're near McAllister and Rose Drive. Oh. Hey, random question. Do you know if there was something going on in town that weekend? I don't think so. Strange. People were putting flowers and pictures of this really hot guy at the stop sign near the intersection. Uh, from the looks of it, I'm assuming it was a memorial. My guess is a car accident or something. That's what people usually do when there's been a... Oh my god. He wasn't the one who your friend that was killed or... <laughs> no, no. That... They never caught that guy. Uh, the person you're talking about is Frank Campbell. Frank Campbell? What? That sounds... Do I know this story? Uh, I'd be surprised if you didn't. Uh, Mr. Campbell was the hot substitute teacher that every girl hoped to get in their classes at least once. Oh, and now it's coming back to me. He had sex with a student, didn't he? Yeah. That's disgusting. No argument here. <laughs> Do you know who the unlucky girl was? Who is she? I do. And, uh, it's not a she. Really? He is a member of Southampton's elite family. Uh, or was. I think he was disowned after it all went down. That's sad. What's his name? Forrest. Forrest Sutherland. Sutherland, as in the owners of the Floyd Jackson chocolates? Bingo. <laughs> I 
That family had their fingers in just about every business on First Street. They were so full of themselves, they even tried changing the name of the town to Southerfield. Sounds like a powerful group of people. The older generation was the worst. Uh, Some of their kids weren't as bad, but they were still taught to believe themselves to be better than everyone, so the smugness was still there. So what's the story with Forrest and Campbell? Mr. Campbell was an assistant coach for our school's soccer team. Forrest was on it, so I'm guessing that's how it all started. Uh, One night after everyone left practice, they stuck around and I got caught. (laughs) By who? I don't know, but the proof was all over MySpace, pictures and recordings. We didn't have the terminology for it back then, but I guess you could say it went viral. (laughs) Some people think Forrest leaked it himself. Maybe to piss off his parents or pressure Frank to leave his fiance. That was bad. Wow. So how did Campbell die? Suicide. Walked in front of a school bus with kids in it and just let it take him. It was horrifying. Ugh. And Forrest? Disappeared. Same day. He went on a drinking bender and nobody heard from him again. Good riddance. I guess he couldn't handle the guilt, so he left. That's just... Wow. Now you've got me stunned. I guess every town has his darkness, doesn't it? Yeah. Were you friends with Forrest at all? No. Uh-oh. Sounds like someone has history with the guy. <laughs> you guys dated, huh? He fooled around on you with multiple women <sighs> or men? Blast his engagement photos all over Facebook. I hear that's like a thing that guys are doing these days. <laughs> <laughs> no, definitely not. Um, I, I didn't know him very well, actually. Hard to believe. I mean, your graduating class couldn't have been more than, what, 200 people? I don't know. I, I, I guess. Yeah, that sounds right. How did you know that? Small town, babe. You guys only have one high school. It'd be hard not to know everyone at least a little bit, right? Yeah. Iris, Dr. Taylor is ready now. Oh, goody. Let's see what I can say to freak this one out. (laughs) Good luck. Luck is always on my side. Hey, let's grab lunch after this. There's this new French, Mediterranean, Polish, whatever new age bullshit cafe that just opened on Main Street. And I've been meaning to check it out, but it will be much better with company, my treat. Oh, no, you don't have to do that. I insist. I give this one 20 minutes before she kicks me out anyway. I'll just chill here till you're done. (sighs) Oh, You know what? Sure. (laughs) Why not? Claire, Dr. Reese is all set. You're up. Okay. Oh, so I'll see you in a few. I want to hear more about this Forrest character anyways. You're going to have to try a lot harder to convince me you didn't really know him. Until lunch. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Forrest. Suddenly I'm not that hungry 